So hi guys, Mayang Adla. Welcome to Nuts Math TV. So in this video, I will be presenting to you about computing the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So this is just a supplementary video to help you in accomplishing your module. Let us have first our lesson objectives. At the end of this video, you should be able to illustrate and calculate the mean of a discrete random variable. And number two, you should be able to solve problems involving mean of probability distribution. So before I go to my examples, let us have first our review. Can you solve the mean of the following data? For example, we are given the scores of students in a math test. So we have here 42, 38, 25, 50, 43, 38, 21, 35, 35, and 27. So if we are going to find the mean of this set of data, so this is what we call the mean of ungrouped data. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 data. So if we are going to find the mean of this set of data, we just simply add all the data and divide it by the number of data. Since there are 10, so we will add 42 plus 38 plus 25 plus 50 until plus 27. So the sum shall be divided by 10 because there are 10 data. So if we are going to divide, that would give us 35.4. Another example. Cebu City's temperature for 5 days. So we have 30.6, 32.9, 35.8, and 36.3. So there are five data here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So to find the mean of this data, we just simply add all the data, 30.6 plus 32.9 until 36.3. So if we are going to add and divide it by 5 because there are 5 data, so we, we can have 34.34 as our mean. Another example, grades in math for the 4 quarters. So we have 78, 83, 82, and 82. So we add 78 plus 83 plus 82 plus 83. And of course, divided by 4 because there are 4 data. So that gives us 81.5. So these examples are just examples of finding the mean for ungrouped data. But for this topic, we are to find the mean of probability distribution. The mean of random variables or the mean of discrete probability distribution. So for example, we are going to to solve for the mean for this problem. We are to consider rolling a die. So what is the average number of spots that would appear? So you take note, a die. So for example, we have here our discrete random variable, which is the number of spots. We denote that as our x. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are 1 to 6 because these are the number of spots that can be found in a die. So there's only one die. So in the second column, we have here the probability of the random variable x. Since our random variable is denoted by the variable x, we have p of x. So this is the probability. How to find the probability? Since in a die, there is only one spot for one and there are six possible spots, Therefore, we can have 1 over 6 probability. So for the third column, we have here the number of spots, which is the discrete random variable. We denote that as x, then times the probability of the random variable, which is p of x. So meaning, what we are going to do here is just simply multiply the discrete random variable in this first column and the probability of the random variable, which is 1 over 6. So we multiply 1 times 1 over 6, of course, that is equal to 1 over 6. Now the same happens for 2. Again, since in a die there is only one spot for 2, so there is only one probability for every 6 
spots. So this is 1 over 6. So the same happens for the third column. We multiply the first column. In this case, we have 2 times the probability, which is 1 over 6. So 2 times 1 over 6, of course, that is 2 over 6. The same happens for 3. So in a die, there's only one spot for 3. So therefore, the probability of 3 to appear is 1 over 6. Then for the third column, we multiply 3 times 1 over 6, of course, that is 3 over 6. Another, we have 4. So again, there is only one spot for 4 for every 6 possible spots. So therefore, we have 1 over 6. Then we multiply 4 times 1 over 6, that is 4 over 6. Another, we have 5. So again, there is only one spot for 5 for every 6 possible spots. So the probability is 1 over 6. Then we multiply 5 times 1 over 6, that is 5 over 6. The same happens for 6. The probability is 1 over 6, and we multiply 6 times 1 over 6, that would give us 6 over 6. Now, these are now the product of the third column is the product of the first column and the second column. Then, afterwards, we just simply add all the entries under this column. So, in this case, since these are all over 6, they have the same denominator. So, what we need to do is just simply add the numerator. So, we have 1 plus 2, which is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 6 is 21. So this is 21 over 6. So the sum of all the numbers under this column is 21 over 6. So this is now the sum of the product between the random variable x and the probability of the random variable. So this is 21 over 6. And when we divide 21 over 6, that is equal to 3.5. So the mean for this probability distribution for the random variable x is 3.5. Okay, let us proceed to another example. The probability is that a customer will buy 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 items in a grocery store are 3 over 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over 10 and 3 over 10 respectively. What is the average number of items that a customer will buy? In this case, the probability of the number of items in a grocery store. So therefore, our random variable is the number of items in a grocery store. So the number of items, in this case, our random variable, number of items. Then again, we denote our random variable with the variable x. Then our number of items is denoted by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's why we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And the probabilities are, since we are given 3 over 10, so this is respectively, so 1, the probability of 1 is 3 over 10. And the probability of 2 is 1 over 10. And the probability of 3 is 1 over 10. The probability of 4 is 2 over 10. And the probability of 5 is 3 over 10. And to get the third column, again, we just simply multiply the first, the numbers under the first column and the numbers under the second column. So, therefore, we have 1 times 3 over 10. That would give us 3 over 10. Then the same happens for 2 times 1 over 10. That is 2 over 10. Then, 3 times 1 over 10 is, of course, 3 over 10. Then, 4 times 2 over 10 is, of course, 8 over 10. Then, 5 times 3 over 10, that would give us 15 over 10. Again, the same happens in the third column. We just simply add all the numbers under this column. Again, since this is a fraction and they have the same denominator, so what we need to do is just simply add all the numerators. So we have 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 8 is 16 and plus 15 is 31. So this is 31 over 10. 
So this is now the sum of the product between the random variable x, which is the first column, and the probability of the random variable, which is in the second column. So the, the sum is 31 over 10. And when we divide 31 over 10, that is equal to 3.1. So that means that the mean of the random variable x or the mean of the probability distribution of x is 3.1. Okay, let's proceed to another example. The number of days that a construction worker cannot work because of bad weather condition has the following probability distribution. So again, we are already given the table. Okay, so for the random variable, we have the number of days. Again, we have denoted that by x. And we are given 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So these numbers are already given in the table. And of course, we are already given the probability of the random variable which is the number of days so we have 0 0.03 0 0.08 0 0.15 0 0.20 0 0.19 so to find the product of the random variable and the probability of the random variable so we multiply 6 times 0 0.3 that would give us 0 0.18 then 7 times 0 0.08 that would give us 0 0.56 8 times 0.15, that would give us 1.2. 9 times 0.20, that would give us 1.8. Then 10 times 0.19, that is 1.9. So, we have these numbers under this column, the third column, the product of the random variable and the probability of the random variable x. We add all these numbers. 0 0.18 plus 0 0.56 plus 1.2 plus 1.8 plus 1.9 of course that will give us 5.64 so the mean of the probability distribution of the random variable x for this data is 5.64 okay that's it i hope you have learned something from this video but before i go I want you to answer these exercises first. You can take a screenshots or you can take down notes or you can post the video and take down notes about the given, for the given. Okay, so complete the table below and find the mean of the following probability distribution. So we are given, in this case we have the random variable number of defective TV sets. Again, we denoted that as X. Then we have 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 for the random variable. And of course, for the probability of the random variables, we are given 1 over 7, 1 over 7, 3 over 7, 1 over 7, and 1 over 7. Of course, you are going to complete the table by multiplying the random variable and the probability of the random variable and find the mean. Another the random variable is number of failed students. Still, we have x as the random variable, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as our random variable. And the probability are 3 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over 10, 2 over 10, and 2 over 10. So still complete the table and find the mean of the probability distribution. So thank you and God bless. Music